Hello everyone, this is Dead at Zero, and today I'm going to make a boom arm for my uh, camera. Uh, what I got here is a four foot long piece of dowel. I've marked the inside. Focus. I marked the inside. And I've marked the other side too for the counterweight. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in my vise here, straight up and down, or straight as possible, give a little force. I'm going to be putting a bolt, drilling down, put the bolt in there, and the bolt then attaches to the ball swivel here, like this. So this would be drilled down inside, up to like right here, and this will be put on here. And then you put your camera up, up here. So this way you can take videos, uh, like you put the pole on the tripod, you take the videos, you can pull them straight down, or you can get a lot closer with your tripod being farther away. Uh, because I actually have my tripod set up over top of my uh, screens when I stream and this will get the camera a lot closer to my face. On the other side, we have this T-nut. What this does, is, say I switch the uh, pole around, and this is gonna be for my counterweights. I'm going to have another bolt with uh, lead weights on it, and this is, this is gonna go into the wood, and this is gonna go into this, so this will screw in. Like this. And then you'd have uh, like a couple pounds of wet lead weights right here to help balance out the camera and the mount. Let's get started. And how I'm going to mount the pole to the tri arm is actually with this, which is two uh, clamps into a. Um, this is a housing like you would like for your flash. Like, you, like this is supposed to be like for like a flash for a DSLR camera. Uh, but what I did was I took the two things and they just bolt like this way. Like the pole will go all the way up and then you would screw it in. And then this right here would connect to your tripod. So it would hold the pole onto the tripod. Okay, now we're going to drill a hole. Now to get a I need the hole to be straight down. I need it at a 90 degree angle to the end here. So what I'm going to do is you take a piece of paper and this gives you a 90 degree edge. You get your, you start with the small drill bit and get your drill bit. Actually I have to cut this a little bit more and make it shorter. One second. I'll just tear it. Okay, what you do is you get your 90 degree, you get your drill bit, make sure it's centered, 90 degrees here, 90 degrees over here, and then drill. Now these are metal bits because I don't got any uh, wood bits that are small enough. Okay, that was just a small like uh, six thirty seconds, actually seven sixty fourths. Same thing, close enough. And now once you have that starter hole, what you do is you get a bigger hole, and this hole is going to end up being. Uh, 3 eighths, which is the size of uh, the T-nut, the inside of the T-nut. Put a slightly bigger one in. And 
Now these don't have to go in very far, as you can see. It just has to go in about that far, to tell you the truth. And now that we've got the little hole pretty straight, we should just go and get this one straight down. That's the second hole. Hole's getting bigger. The reason I'm doing the multiple different size drill bits is because we're, we're drilling to the end of this. I do not want to crack it. If I crack it, I've just wasted uh, about $6 for the dowel. Now we're up to one fourth. That's a little bit bigger drill bit. The previous one was nine sixty fourths. Okay, so about right there. off. Looking good. Okay. Now I'm probably just going to jump straight to 3 eighths. Okay. And 3 eighths. Now let's see if we can fit this in there. I need to be just a tad bigger. Let me go see if I have a one size larger drill bit. What it is, is 3 8 is the inside thread. So this has to be just a bit bigger than 3 8. To find out what size I need, I'm actually just going to use a pair of calipers here. I'm going to set it to uh, inches. Or, yeah, inches. And this is 7 16 on the outside. Inside. Alright. 42 128s, which is 3 eighths. Okay, now I just have to find a drill bit that'll fit that. Uh, what you do is you take it back here where the uh, drill stops and it goes into the chuck, and you measure it there. That's 7 16 which is the size we want. So give me one second to put it in the drill. Okay, and this should be the last press. Yep, it goes down in there. Now these T-nuts have these uh, metal prongs that you have to press in. Now how to do this is very easy. Let's take that off, set this down. What you do is you just put it on here, and then you get something to hit it with. This is just a piece of metal. You hit it like that, you take it off, and that imprints on the wood. Now these metal pieces are pretty small. Let me zoom in and I'll show you. I mean, they are pretty small. So what you do is you will get a small drill bit. And normally you wouldn't have to do this, but I'm being extra careful now. You get a small drill bit, like a uh, 564th. Major, just to make sure. Uh, maybe one a little bit bigger than that. Maybe 320 seconds.
what you do is now that you have the imprints on the wood you just drill a small hole Uh, need to tighten that up. You just drill a small hole. Doesn't have to be long. Doesn't have to be deep. Check it again, just to make sure. What it was is that hole got covered up with sawdust. I'll show you this. Now you have four holes and a center hole. And what happens is you put the in like that. You put it down again, rest it on the floor, tighten it up just a tad, and then you hammer it in. Now it's in there nice and flush. Well, not flush, but as close as it's going to get. And you got a good place to put a counterweight. Uh, this would be my counterweight bolt, and then on here I would have uh, lead or steel washers or actual, I could like hang like a, like a bag of lead or anything from this just to give it some oomph. So when you put it, the pole on your tripod, the camera weight just doesn't pull your tripod over. That's one side. Now I'll do the other side. It got dirty from the ground. I'm going to remeasure it. Okay. If you want to figure out how to remeasure it, what you got to do is you take a pair of calipers and if you don't have them uh, you need to get some you measure it and it comes out to uh, let's go around the edge here 31.7 you half that so like 15 uh, we'll do like 15.5 Lock it up. And what you'll do is you'll actually, with this riding along the edge here, you can actually scribe a line in the middle with this. So, like this. You do it on the other side just to make sure. You do it at four angles. and then you do it over here and then you measure it just to make sure and then you measure it like this okay now we're good And since we've already got the small drill bit in our drill, we'll drill the hole. Now get your piece of paper, line there, drill it up at 90 degree angle. 90 degree angle. This one does have to go farther. Because what it is, I'm going to sink about half this screw into the bolt. I mean, half the screw into the dowel. 
and then I'm going to use like a uh, nut on the top and it's going to secure it into the dowel with some glue. So you have it like this in the uh, dowel like this and then you can screw your um, tripod which is a 3 8 screw into here like this so it would be sitting on the end like that. Let me go ahead and get that drilled out and I'll show you the results. Okay, I couldn't find a drill bit uh, big enough to do the this, but not but small enough not to just round out the whole thing because I've got big drill bits about that big and stuff like that but nothing that actually bigger than this so what I'm going to do is take a file or a chisel and I'm just going to chisel out the wood wish me luck What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put this in there and get a pencil and draw all around it so I'll know how much to take off. I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm going to work on it. First, you work into the corners. I'm using a square file. This dowel is pretty soft wood, so this is going pretty fast. If you had like a hard wood, like a maple or an oak, uh, this would take a while. You always want to make a corner first. And then check it, recheck it. Keep blowing it out. Wipe off your file. Check it again, make sure your lines are straight. And you just keep doing this until you get a uh, symmetrical uh, hexagonal hole that you can just drop the bolt down into. And I'll uh, come back when I get this finished. Okay, I've made some progress. I've uh, tried to use my files to file in the corners. Now what I've done is I've taken a screwdriver and I've ground the edge off to a nice sharp uh, edge. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a hammer and use it as a chisel. I don't have a chisel. This screwdriver will work okay. And uh, with the screwdriver, what you do is you take it with the sharp part pointing out, 
and you've got to put it right on the edge between where they hit and then you just knock the wood in and what it does is it shaves off nice piece of wood That's quite so almost pretty crack there. Just uh, clean it up a bit. It almost fits. Ah, uh, cut off a little bit too much on this side. That's what I get. Ah, that's okay. We'll, we can fill that full of filler later. Looking good. So I can almost get it down in there. I just have to fit the whole thing down in there. Use it as a chisel. Take it out of the vise. Hit it on the ground a couple of times, knock it loose, and put it back in. Okay. And uh, hit it with the hammer a little bit. Looks good. Now it's got to remember uh, how strong it needs to be. Okay, it needs to go flush on the top there. Okay, so it needs to go, I need to dig down a little bit more. Ah. Uh. And what's happened is uh, the bottom's a little bit round, so it's not going down all the way. You just gotta take it down in there into the corner and then pry out, you pry out all that extra. Don't, don't pry too hard on the side or you might crack the dowel.
once I get this finished up, I'll show you the finished product. Okay, I've done it. Uh, I have finished it. Uh, let me take you out of the tripod here. Oops, got caught there. It is rounder than what I want it to be. I want it to I want it to be almost perfectly square. But uh didn't get it that way. So I should have just used a larger drill bit, but I didn't have any larger that wasn't bigger than the whole pole. Okay, zoom back. Now you got the uh, ball swivel mount. It just screws on here like this. Like that. And then you can put your like, camera here and then you can shoot up or down or sideways and then if you have the uh, mount on a tripod like this you can shoot straight down or like this or just about anything you want okay and on the other side you have the uh, t-nut which goes into the bolt and then you can put counterweights on this side so it evens out the weight of the camera which mine's about three pounds. I need about three pounds of counterweights or five or whatever you need. Okay, I uh, put the screw, uh, I, sand, I actually sanded it down with my bench grinder to make it a little bit shorter so it, the uh, nut will sit completely flush. I have plenty of friction material with the wood uh, when I screw the uh, ball head in. Um, now I have to find some glue to glue it in there and then we'll be set and I'll show you what it looks like on the tripod. I'll be right back. Now that I have it completed, I have this. And then that's how that attaches. And then you have the uh, bolt for the tripod goes here, and then your tripod would be down here. And then you could, uh, if your tripod has an arm, you can swivel it up, down, left, right, whatever you want to do. And here's what it looks like. You got the tripod, and then you have the metal bracket with the two clamps, and then you have the pole. And the pole can extend all the way up there and then if I do this right you can have it like this and then you would have your camera point it like this point it down okay this has been dead at zero and I want to thank you guys for watching. Please uh, like, subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of stuff. And I hope you guys have a good day. Goodbye.